today in this class i will discuss all the one and two mark textual question and answer from the new text textbook for hs second year you all know that recently ahsec has revised the syllabus as well the as well as the uh, textbook for hs uh, second year student so uh, this is a uh, question answer video from the new textbook for hs second year which is uh, harmony an anthology of prose and poetry this is the name of the new textbook so today i'll be discussing uh, all the one and two mark textual question and answer from the uh, from the poem ozim indias of egypt i will be discussing all the one and two mark textual question and answer from the poem ozim indias of egypt so let uh, let's see the first question which king is referred to in the poem ozim indias of egypt answer will be king ramses 2 or king ramses the second is referred to in the poem ozimindias of egypt next question what type of a poem is ozimindias of egypt answer is the poem ozimindias of egypt is a sonnet okay which is 40 lines next question who is the speaker in the poem in this poem who is the speaker as you all know the poem starts with i i met a traveler na i is where uh, i is what i is our poet pb shelly himself i have already discussed the poem line by line and the video is in the channel you can watch the the video from the uh, playlist or i shall provide the link in the comment, uh, description also okay so who is the speaker in the poem the poet pb shelly is the speaker of the poem our poet is the speaker of the uh, poem okay next question who tells the poet about the shattered statue answer is the traveler tells the poet about the shattered statue next question name the collection of poetry in which ozimindias of egypt got first published we have to name the uh, book where this poem firstly published okay the name of the book is ozimindias of egypt was first published in rosalind and helen a modern eclogue with other poems the name of the book is what which is your actual answer actual answer is from here the name of the book is rosalind and helen a modern uh, eclogue with other poems okay let's see our uh, next question we what is the rhyme scheme of the poem what is the rhyme scheme of ozimindias of egypt answer is the poem ozimindias of egypt is a sonnet with rhyming scheme of a b a b a c d c e d e f e f okay next question what is ironic about the inscription on the pedestal of ozimindias's statue what is the irony irony means what irony means the thing which is, which we see and the thing which he imagines okay these are both the different thing okay irony answer is the king ozimindias with the help of the inscription on the pedestal of his statue which is built in his tenure ask people to look on his works and achievements but the irony is that all his accomplishment are destroyed now the things on which he feels proud are no longer available this is the irony he earlier he is to proud on him, on himself that he has done so many things in his life but now all the things are vanished okay this is the irony about uh, about ozimindias statue okay the statue says that the statue ask the people to look on the works na but there are no work available na i said already that the thing which you see and the thing which is actual it is the irony okay next question 
who was Ozymandias? Answer will be Ozymandias was the Greek name for the Peroha Ramses II, one of the most powerful ruler of the ancient world. Next question. What quality of Ozymandias does the narrator represent? Probably this is the last question for today. The quality that narrator represents represents okay it, it will be s here yeah, one small s is missing represents is the king's grand misapprehension uh, of his own power and might he thought he could himself immor uh, immortalize in he thought he could himself Im immortalize in stone but with the passing of time, all that remained of that statue was a, a colossal wreck. That is it for today. I shall be meeting you in the new video very soon. Thank you all of you.